Don't forget to use TCG Center 5 code on ccgcastle.com and get 5% discount on your purchase. Check video description or visit CCG Castle for more. So welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. Today we're looking at the Sage Toads Loking Expanded Deck. Uh, if you watched on my YouTube channel, uh, I already made uh, the same deck, uh, the same version of the deck for the standard format. And in my opinion, it's pretty interesting and pretty solid deck to play, um, especially if you like Seismic to DX. So, um, without further introduce, uh, let's go to check some cards. So, basically, uh, this deck runs 3 Shame ZX. Um, 3 Shame ZX, as I mentioned it. So, uh, basically, for the setup. A uh, play set of Seismito, of course, uh, is the main attacker with the Quaking Punch. Uh, you'll be able to hit 40 maximum, and with the laser, increase that damage to 70. So, three, the two Slowpokes and two Slowkings with the Real Flash. <clears throat> Once during your turn, you might flip a coin, and if it's has, um, one energy from your opponent's active Pokemon to one of his or her benched Pokemon. And that's pretty good. With the Quaking Punch combination, uh, you can do a lot of good things. One computer search for the ace pack, which means <clears throat> with uh, computer search you'll be able to get any card that you actually need. Uh, four crushing hammers uh, to discard your opponent's uh, energies from play. Uh, four hypnotoxic lasers, of course. Uh, four super scoop ups just to uh, remove from play damage to season toad or even shaman when you want to set up again. Uh, three trainers males. <clears throat> Pretty much uh, look at the top four cards of your deck, reveal the trainer card you find there, expect trainer's mail and put back into your hand, place it to Vulture Balls, of course, um, place it to Versus Seekers. Uh, from supporters, I decide to play one AZ uh, so I can scoop up uh, from game anything. And one Hex Maniac, so just in case you play against those Garbodor's matchups, uh, sometimes uh, you need to block that Garbodor and uh, against those. Matchups uh, where you play against uh, Age slash EX. Um, two Lysanders, one M, uh, four Johnny Purse, uh, one Shadow Triad, and from Stadium Card, of course, three Roaring City Gyms, uh, three Fighting Fury Belts, uh, three Flowstones, two Headringers, and four Double Colors Energies. So, pretty much a uh, good deck list. Maybe I should uh, take one uh, Zero Seek instead of that uh, third flowstone, but uh, I decide rather to keep um, three flowstones for considers for um, better um, for better drawing support uh, when you need to retreat your um, shaman from the uh, active spot for example. So yeah, let's do some testing. Okay, so in total, four different uh, Pokemons in my opponent deck. It could be Shaman, it could be Zoroark, and uh, something else could be. Uh, I will definitely go second, so I can see what he have, what he play, and uh, even if he attached some energy cards, uh, that I can take advantage by discarding them with my Crushing Hammer, but uh, will be definitely interesting to see. Um, yeah. So I have Fighting Fury Belt, um, there's the Dean, there's the Landorus CX. Okay, Landorus is weak on my Seismic ODX, and that's good to know, definitely. Um, that the Dean could not do too much damage, only 40 uh, to my active Seismic Toad, and that's when I have double core synergy on it. But it can be knocked out with uh, Verbank Laser and the Fighting Fury Belt, which could be definitely um, interesting to see if I can play it next turn. So, the first Battle Compressor that's played um, from my opponent's side, so let's see what he will um, discard with it. I think this would be interesting matchup to see, and also hard matchup for me. Um, let's see, so, oh, it's a ho -Oh with the Rebirth. I really like that ho -Oh he acts. that's from Dragon Exalted. It's one of my favorite cards, actually. I have one in my collection. Oh, luckily he got tails on that rebirth, so if he got heads, he would be actually able to have it into game, so... Uh, the good thing for me is... Oh, get the hell, there's a Hex Maniac, so... I won't be able to play Shaman. That's freaking shame. 
But anyway, there's at least Bourbon City Gym, so I will actually need Yeah, let's go. All I actually need is a... What do I actually need? Double Colorous Energy and uh, Hippie Toxic Laser, but I don't think that that's gonna happen from six cards. No, not even close. Not even close. Uh, if there was no uh, Hex Maniac, that, that should probably happen. But yeah, since he played Hex Maniac, it didn't happen. Okay, so Crushing Hammer for the next turn. Yeah, I can see that happen. Okay, we'll pass my turn for now, so he luckily escaped without Quaking Punch, but uh, luckily that the Dean will gonna fall down at the end of my turn if he somehow don't have Switch. Oh, there's the Xerneas, and there's the Smurgle, so right now I know what he have played. I really like that Xerneas deck. I also made the budget version of this Xerneas Rainbow Force deck, so you should probably check that uh, for sure. So, without switch, uh, he cannot retreat. I have 220 HP, so I cannot be knocked out with that Xerneas. He can do um, 30 times 5, 160, 180 in total, and there's 3 Hawk CX uh, right now in his discard pile, which means that he will be 3 chances to flip a Rebirth, and there is like 3 different energies, which means that Hawk will be able to attack me for like 100, it is, no, it's 20 plus 20 for uh, each different energy on it, and there's the first Rebirth uh, from the second uh, flip coin. Okay, so probably maybe playing it with energy switches will be also a um, great idea. And I still don't see that fairy energy in his deck. Oh, there's the KLDVX, so there's the healer, so he can rush in. And he can retreat if he have floatstone. If he don't have floatstone, I think that Keldia will just stuck in the front. Oh, there's the energy switch. Okay, darkness. But yeah, you still need to have Dark Rain play to retreat, so. Yeah, maybe he just want to stay in front. Oh, there's the smart play. There's the versus seeker that I somehow forget to play when I play against Quaking Punch. And there's the Fighting Fury Belt, which means that uh, Xerneas have 160 uh, HP right now. Okay, so let's try Crushing Hammer. It's a heads, so double glorious energy is a history. So keep him toxic laser tails. And I will still uh, looking for that double glorious energy. Uh, luckily I have a uh, versus secret in my hand so I can draw M. So fresh hand of six. Oh the last was the double color synergy actually, so yeah, since I already have Fighting Fury Belt, uh, I can use my Royal Flash. Damn, it's a Tails. Anyway, I just don't want to get the damage from that Keldeo, uh, not even a Retreat, so it's part of the past. Waking Punch, which means he takes uh, 40 plus 30 equals 70 damage. Uh, this turn is poisoned. Uh, he cannot play item cards, so he's definitely locked. He needs double course energy in order to retreat on that Ho He X, which would not be the smartest option that you should probably play. So, a uh, good advantage for me at this moment. Good advantage. Even if you try to move some energies across, I have Slow King ready. And there is one more double chorus energy, so let's see what I can top deck. Oh, computer search as a top deck. Um, let's take one shaman actually. I will keep that. Oh, wrong card. I will actually keep my Lysander. Maybe I maybe I try to um, Lysander by Xerneas. Okay, so this will definitely happen here. Uh, it's it's a bit risky. Yeah. 
but let's try to get hit, so that's Loking Ralph Flash. Oh, so he gave me the victory, that's unfair. I really want to finish one video of this deck uh, playing until the end, so let's try one more game. That last game, if I get heads, uh, it would be definitely uh, pretty much over for my opponent. If he don't, yeah, he wouldn't be able to attack me because I create and punch him, so he will not be able to play energy switch. I totally forgot about that. If you already didn't, uh, please subscribe to the channel to support me. And also don't forget to check ccgcastle.com if you need any of Pokemon cards or uh, stuff for uh, DCG like uh, sleeves, deck boxes or also uh, sealed projects, so products, excuse me. So uh, let's go to game number two. And as you can see, I start with the Seismic Toad again in the front, uh, which is good. I have a lot of options like uh, Headringer, um, Hidden Toxic Laser. Oh, is that Eevee? Yes, it is. Eevee with the Energy Evolution, which means maybe he played uh, that uh, Westby Queen deck. And to be honest, I was looking at my iPhone, so I didn't uh, get the eyes on the loading screen, so I don't know what my opponents actually played, but I can guess. It's Flareon West between deck, uh, probably, and it will be definitely interesting to see it. Oh, how bad is that when you need to attack, uh, to attach the um, double color synergy to your EV turn 1 without um, getting a chance to evolve <sighs> into your Flareon, for example. Oh, how bad is that? So there's the battle compressor, so let's see what my opponent can play. Okay, Battle Compressor for Jolteon, oh, there's also Gallade, Audino, Execute, Shaming, Juniper, Combi, Eevee, oh, whatever, a lot of different Pokemon, of course, you need to have like 24 plus, maybe even less, more, whatever, who cares, um, Trainer's Mail, uh, so what can I get with the Trainer's Mail? Oh, I can get... Professor Johnny Bird. Why? Because I have that option. We'll keep Lysander. Maybe I will use it. I think that Combi is actually a bigger threat than this Eevee in my eyes right now. So. Double colors, nope, trainer's mail for the super scoop up, yes, that could be useful. Okay, one more time with the slow poke, we'll not try to get actually second shaming. I will just try to get heads over that super scoop up. Oh, come on, it's a tails, so whatever. Uh, right now I need to play uh, Johnny Purr. Yeah, I should probably stick with that, another shaming, just to get... Double Colorus. Oh, I don't see double Colorus energy again. Crushing Hammer, okay, at least it's a heads. Yeah, I need to take a risk. Okay, that baby sleep. But it will wake up as long as he can uh, wake up by evolving. Oh, come on, just the fighting fury belt. And I missed play. Um, Quaking Punch turn 1. And uh, that's a huge. That's actually a huge deal. I even don't have the Seism Toad second on my bench. And I already discarded one. Okay, so there's the Flareon. 
Yeah, there's like four, six. It was six. Uh, right now is seven Pokemons, and there's the Shaming. Okay, so looking at the setup for the five. Luckily, um, I was able to get heads on that crushing hammer, so I discarded a energy from the Flareon. To be honest, in this deck, against this deck, uh, playing Slowking, not sure how good it can be, how well it can be. Uh, if you have, for example, Jirachi or something like that, and there's the Johnny Purse, so a lot of cards he actually uh, drew, so two more Anons uh, for two more cards, so he's still looking for that. Oh, he actually got that double chorus energy, so... Will he... Oh, why don't you use Propagation, for example? Not sure, and there's the Audino. And the formal letter, so he will definitely draw additional card. And uh, yeah, there's the Dino, so he can heal uh, 10 from that Flareon, which is not a uh, huge deal. As long as I can survive, I can knock him out. And another formal letter, uh, let me count uh, quickly 4, 6, mm, 8. 12 in the total, uh, plus pedal compressor. Oh, how many is that? 12? 140? 170? Uh, come on, yeah, it will be the knockout, definitely. I can see that, I can feel that. So it's 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 2020, yeah, whatever. It's a knockout. It is a huge knockout. So, right now, I need like three cards. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Johnny Per. Yeah, I actually got pretty much everything that I was need. Uh, the Fighting Fury Belt doesn't make uh, too much sense uh, right now. We'll just um, try to get another Slow King into play. And uh, let's see if I can get a crucial card, which is Hypnotoxic Laser and a Burbank City Gym. And I didn't get it. I can still retreat, I can still play my super scoop up. Yes, it's a heads, luckily. I uh, still have a good chance to get it. Four more cards, can it be? Oh, there it is. So there is the laser, it's a knockout. Before I even do that, how many double colors does he have in his disc pile? Only one, yeah, which means that I will again take the knockout next time. On my seismic uh, yes. Come on, come on, it's just a fire energy, so that West Queen gonna fall down. Okay. What the heck is going on? Why the Hex Maniac? Is it? Can I get Versus Seeker? Yes. Oh. Oh. Versus Seeker for like, um... Lysander? Yep. It will be definitely knockout again, which means which means um, that uh, I'm in a huge advantage right now, but I'm on the eight cards left, which means that I don't have um, 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. I totally forgot he's not weak. And I didn't use Loking's ability, and right now I'm knock it out, but he's also knock it out. Ah, having a hard time right now. I should probably um I should probably put those freaking energies. Yeah, anyway. I need a sky return, that's for sure. Um, to stay alive in this game. And I need it really badly. And that combi have 40, 40 HPs. Yeah, that's definitely enough to knock him out. Yeah, I need to have red seismic to ready next turn, that's for sure. Just in case. Um so for the knockout. We'll definitely promote another slow king, but before I even do that, I need to count how many float stones do I waste. Yeah, I can see only one. Yeah, logical Eevee will go in the front, so he need Flareon, Double Colors and uh, Lysander for the GG. It's definitely a lot of cards, but he only have 7 cards left. If he somehow can uh, go to the cards, he can get a victory or a defeat. But yeah, it was definitely a huge, huge, huge misplay uh, for me by attacking that Wesp Green for 40. I don't know what was going through my mind. I definitely made a huge misplay that turn, which would probably cost me a victory in this game. Oh, so if you go for the Juniper, he will just be on like one or two cards. But to do it, if you go with the Juniper, you cannot take two prize cards, that's for sure. So he would probably try to go uh, and stay on like uh, one card, yes. So he's looking for that Flareon and uh, for that maybe, huh, yeah. If you go in the front with the Flareon, that would be the knockout. But oh boy, ah, there's a super road. Okay, there's the super road. Maybe for some animals that would be oh, Flareon and probably oh, Wesp Queen and one animal. Okay, and there's the Ultra Ball. So he will right now search deck for the Flareon. Okay, logical. He still have exit. Yeah, it's the knockout. Ah, come on. Give me something good. Not sure if that is good. Let's see, crushing hammer, tails. Uh, we'll draw three additional cards. I need M. Yep, but I didn't get it. Do I have? Yeah, who knows? Do I have versus Seeker left? Real Flash. And I don't even know if I'll be able to... Ah, uh, come on. We'll scoop up Shaman again. And we'll be able to draw only one card. Which means I'll be also on the one card. Uh, can it be versus Seeker? No, but it's a computer search and I need to waste three cards. One draw, draw three. Uh, I lost. Definitely. Or not. Oh, he 
it's a team flare grunt, and I need to take it actually. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah. Anyway, lost the game uh, by uh, by a bad decision. But actually, I like this deck, and I like how it works. But hey, there's the deck idea, so I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more future videos. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit like button or dislike button if you don't like it. I'll leave comments below about what you think about this deck in the expanded format. So until the next time, uh, have a nice day and uh, goodbye.